Hi, I'm Jeff, and we're going to go through how to use infogram.org, um, which is made by Public Lab. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to assume that you've got uh, an infogram point-and-shoot camera already, uh, or another infogram camera that produces uh, imagery that looks kind of like uh, this right here, the bluish uh, cotton candy blue color image where uh, foliage and vegetation look really bright blue. If you're seeing uh, something more like this pink image, then you need to white balance your camera, and there are, there are instructions on this page uh, as to how to do that. But we're going to go ahead and assume that you've got one of these very blue images, um, and we're going to go from there. Uh, again, if you need any information about any of these, if you're not sure what, what the purpose is, or if you are interested in learning about how NDVI or these other analysis types work. There's a lot of information on infogram.org. But we're going to just jump right in. When you click Begin, you don't even have to sign up. You can immediately see this sort of uh, canvas area. And uh, you, you can click here to upload an image, or you can actually connect to a webcam that's been built as an infogram camera. But uh, you can click here to upload, but I'm going to just drag onto that. That also works. And actually, it opens up the presets menu, you, which you can also get just by clicking presets. Um, so it's asking, you know, do you have a blue filter or a red filter? The point and shoot camera has got a blue filter, uh, sorry, a red filter, as it says here. So we'll just start with basic. And what it's doing is it's running the, the NDVI equation, normalized difference vegetation index, in grayscale. Um, and it's already run it, so you can see the output here. And the areas that are brightest have the highest NDVI value. Now, there's a lot more about how to interpret NDVI, what it means, uh, and so forth, where it came from, on the Public Lab site. And you can get into it through infogram.org and on, inf on Public Lab under the tag name infogram, uh, or just search for NDVI. But we're just going to um, show you how to generate this kind of image. One thing is that you can't really see a lot of differentiation down here between different areas that may be healthier or, or less healthy. And so what people often do is they apply a color map. And as you can see, this really brings out some of the detail. It's still not super clear down here, but you do see some difference in the foliage up here. Um, and what the color map is doing is it's using warmer colors to represent higher NDVI values. And actually, it, it, uh, this particular color map tries to show a bit of a cutoff between uh, what is above zero and what is below zero. Um, so NDVI will range from negative 1 to 1. Uh, so all of this is available in presets. If you just drag an image onto the Upload button and you click Colorized, it will do this automatically. And that's pretty much it. You can save, name it, you know, Crops or, oh, I'm sorry, that was a different image. Uh, we'll call this one like Grassy Field. And you can add your name, although you don't need to sign up, and you can describe what you're doing. It would be really great if you shared on Public Lab a little bit about what you're up to. You can download the image here, or you can save it, and it will actually save on Infogram. And then from here, you can view the image again. That's it. I think we're going to we're going to do uh, I think we're going to do a lot more uh, different tutorials on different aspects of this and working with different types of imagery. For example, images taken with a blue filter, uh, as distinct from this one, which is taken with a red filter. Uh, but for now, that's pretty good. Thanks very much.